starting in the name of Allah, the most merciful, mighty, and gracious to all. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, and welcome to the class of research methodology. Today we are going to discuss the fifth lecture of business research method, and this lecture is actually the extension of the last lecture that where we started the literature review. If you remember, students, I told you that literature review we will cover up this topic into two lectures in the last lecture we discuss about the literature review or sometimes it is also known as the literature survey and then I told you that the next part that constructing a literature review we are writing up a literature review the literature review ki likal ki gi sangha so you are written portion is sangha ab inshallah munga the lecture ke lecture number 5 ki will cover ko so therefore this lecture number 5th that is the extension of lecture number 4 again before starting constructing a literature review let me add another topic that is problem statement and problem definition you are going to touch come there already i have given you in the last lecture that what is problem statement and what is problem definition so today first i would like to explain about the problem statement and problem definition and then we will move toward that how to write up a literature review now let's start from the first that is problem statement or sometime it is known as problem definition if you notice after interviews and literature review the researchers are in a better position to narrow down the problem from the broad problem area into more specific problem if you remember students in the last session I told you so when there is a problem so as a researcher you must have to get clear start from a broad problem area which was BP, uh, BPA broad problem area and then researcher must uh, narrow down the problem into a specified manner so the process is simply known as clear uh, uh, to narrow down uh, uh, process or in other words simply we can say Chikala hum research start ki ki, no research hamesha broad problem area na start ki. Already we have discussed what is broad problem area. No chik broad problem area aghe boundaries chede aga days yat was he. No bia research is so ki chik broad problem area na ro 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 concept chikam de aga narrow down ki are your specified issue tarawali. This whole process is simply known as narrow down the problem from broad problem area into a specific problem area. Last time we did a discussion, for example, we Now, I would like to explain the whole concept with the help of an example. That's the your illustration over your example over it will make your idea more clear. Let's suppose that a researcher problem, that a research problem in a broad journal way is the following. Your problem area, that is broad problem area, that why is productivity in Japan so much higher than in India? Japan ke productivity ziyatada as compared to India two countries comparison ki lage sexual in terms of productivity now in this form the question has a number of ambiguities pura kada ta so statement ta so chu kai the problem eri ta so fikr ho kai you will find out sexual dik dir ya unclarity da ab what is unclarity number one unclarity what sort of productivity is being referred to us pura move ho bhai uchi why is productivity in japan so much higher than in India. Wale Japan ke productivity ziyata da as compared to India. Lekin pura dekhe productivity nether defined shave. I achishi productivity. Machine productivity, labor productivity, organizational productivity. What productivity? No productivity is not defined. Dekha da se da da unclearness da. Second unclearity is na with what industry the same is related to. Zee wai ama chi Japan ke India na ziyata productivity da. I a kam sector ke. Come a industry ke, telecom industry ke, banking industry ke, education industry ke, cement industry ke. In what industry? Industry that the again ambiguity, the unclear, the not defined. Third seda, with what period of time? But come time ke Japan ke productivity se wada as compared to India. Kura time chide da ham mention nare. Rozeka da wai chik da kam chik problem area da sahi fala da chide that that is not clear. They keep problems. Problem center, they can not have productivity defined shavida, napake industry defined shavida, or napake time period defined shavida. Now, being as a researcher, let me know what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is a statement that I'm clear. Now, I would like to precise this more. Us pura padib statement that I'm going to do is you will find out that what factors were responsible 
फॉर द हायर लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ जापान उसको इफ यू नोटिस देखे हायर लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी पके एड वाला वक्त सिर्फ और सिर्फ प्रोडक्टिविटी वाला सो वट फैक्टर्स वर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द हायर लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ जापान मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री पूरा मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री ड्यूरिंग द डेकेट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन टू नाइनटीन एटी रेलेटिव टू इंडिया मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री यो को पके प्रोडक्टिविटी डिफाइन करा दैट इज लेबर यो पके डेकेट टाइम पके रहा है नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन टू नाइनटीन एटी और यो पके मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री डाला दिस लेटर वर्जन द द्वेम स्टेटमेंट चिकम द ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज डेफिनेटली एन इम्प्रूवमेंट क्लियर ओवर इट्स अर्लियर वर्जन so further rethinking and rephrasing might place the problem on still better operational basis as shown below or no rim like refine ko to what extent or shuru ke munga we say what factors were responsible for higher level productivity or the what uh, uh, factors were responsible for the higher level productivity and the statement the no rum khakawale sham to what extent did labor productivity in 1971 to 1980 in japan exceed that of india in respect of 15 selected manufacturing industries us pura waqt ache kam de sirf ma what factors include kariyo us dal ta chide to what extent pak include to what extent mean ta so hada pore labor productivity 1971 or 1980 japan ke zyada shay hua as compared to india pak kam ke selected manufacturing industry matlab che delta i have selected some 15 industries no delta da ga che kam de statement che kam da selected industry che kam da da no room specified chola what factors were the responsible for the productivity differential between two countries by industry but this statement is now more defined this statement is now more narrow narrow down broad problem area na zarur zarur ro ro tama specified problem pore so therefore this said ki har jo chakam researcher de aha broad problem area na definition wali and then with the passage of time chakam problem statement de aha narrow down ki or your specified issue de rawali da chakam process de that is simply known as your uh, narrow down broad problem area into specified area now if you notice with this sort of formulation that comes to mata to the ue now the various terms involved such as labor productivity or a labor productivity pak involved shall clear hum shall productivity differential productivity differential hum matlab fark productivity fark etc must be explained clearly the researcher must also see that the necessary data are available in case pura dekhe time period hum mention ki ka data nashta da no time period uh, extend ki ka time aka time period ke data na paida ki for example if researcher clear a way chain 1971 to 1980 if the data is available well and good if the data is not available there in such a time frame so then clear research to ki the next time period the large so for ye kada interest pe chakma ki select kri da manufacturing industry for example cement manufacturing industry da to whatever kamam da is it if the data dikh in the available so then to ki the next uh, 15 manufacturing industry wali so bara manufacturing industry wali iron manufacturing industry mein akhas issue hai jo alaba construction manufacturing industry akhas issue telecom industry akhas issue whatever the manufacturing na services tar ji they should no aham change kawale shi so this process is simply known as narrow down problem hope inshallah a bit idea will be clear now now gura what is problem statement a problem definition further a problem statement is a clear precise statement of the specific issue that research intends to address matlab problem statement ya problem definition sirf aur sirf se that is a statement that which basically uh, aim is to explore clear the results the ideas the questions clear which the researcher want to find out problem definition ya problem statement ke kam de a a statement de a a why not ke kam research investigation kawal bari kawal worry about the question matlab for example i have some question i want to answer those questions so how i will answer those question and to what extent i will answer those question i have to write down a statement that statement is known as my problem statement or problem definition no zakada we the problem statement is a clear bilkul clear precise to the point statement that issue research intends to address a problem could be an interest clear in an issue we are finding the right answer might help to improve the existing situation और अंदर का डेफिनेशन चेक करते हैं तब जितना थोड़ा यू एग्जांपल सर एक्सप्लेन करना इट विल मेक योर आइडिया मोर क्लियर और प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट के हमेशा रिसर्चर फोकस चेक करते हैं दैट मस्ट बी ऑन द रियल प्रॉब्लम नॉट ऑन द सिम्टम प्रॉब्लम सही हुआ संगा 
let me explain suppose we are going to study uh, an industry mongo your industry ke study ko your research ko al tamongo chu guru we find out that there is a very uh, low productivity in terms of employee ya low pro employee chede their low productivity lage provide kai ab gora ab low productivity they should that was known as my symptom problem halanke real problem when i search out when i study literature review i found out that the real problem was low morale ab now gora low productivity let me first highlight here that was the highlight come up gora <coughs> if the symptom problem is low productivity no low productivity the agi solution sir uba sama here when i will increase clear the uh, peace rate peace rate mean i'm talking about the wage rate the wage rate of the employees definitely their productivity will be increased halanki when i study literature review i could find out that the real problem is not low productivity the real problem is low morale ab now how i can basically solve this real problem low morale this low morale can be find out with the solution of real problem solution and that is employee recognition matlab real productivity ma ta pata hole gida che low productivity kam de da symptom di lekin da haqiqat ke da masala na wa magi de par yo solution hum rahu bas the solution was that increase the pay rate halaki that was not the real solution the real solution no che kal ma literature review study ko then i calculated that low morale is actual problem or so low morale hal ko lo tarika se the employee recognition matlab value the employees is it so therefore it simply says che kal hum researcher broad problem area ya for example problem uh, statement ya problem definition study ki no researcher must focus on the real problems not on the symptom problems hope inshallah a bit idea will be clear some book na mera khasti di some well defined problem statement to what extent has the new advertising campaign been successful in creating a high quality customer centered corporate image corporate image how has new packaging affect the sales of the product how do price and quality rate on consumers evaluation does better automation lead to greater investment or not the tool your well statement problem the i have taken from the book uskura your broad problem area na how we can make a problem statement matlab being as a researcher check out your broad problem area na start off lama then i study the literature review and then i will formulate a problem statement so how it could be happen uskura for example first of all when i study when i get start from the broad problem area i calculated that low productivity of employees sahi hua matada pata hua gira your research ma start kro che low productivity of employee us the low productivity of employees che they they different reasons ki dekhi when i study the literature review literature review ki mata pata hua gira che faulty machines low pay rate and low morale then ache kam de sahi hua low productivity of employee generate ki ab the your problem statement jura wala wala a problem statement se is the low morale must sirf your dimension a khaste de sahi ho is the low morale of employee at plant xyz the cause of low productivity ab that is known as my problem definition ya problem statement that i started from the broad problem area i studied the literature review i calculated the real uh, uh, problem and then i calculated a problem statement that is really a low morale of employee at plant x or company x really cause of low productivity ab that is simply known as my broad problem area up to the problem statement hope inshallah a bit idea will be clear now we start from our previous lecture that was literature review now zab koshish ko ma che again literature review che kam de aaj ta thoda dobara shuru kama ata so yaad hi last time a bit uh, we discussed about the literature review so what is literature review already we have discussed in detail the literature review review so the way that is review the study of the literature of the other relevant to the researcher interest or uh, 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 the research so now every research study requires the research to review pretentious literature on the topic وجہ سے دا پرپز از ٹو اوائڈ ان نیسیسری ڈوپلیکیشن اف ریسرچ یو خدا دا چ ڈبلنگ ہونا شی دوبارہ مطلب یو کار چ کم شوے دے الریڈی اگ دوبارہ چ کم دے اگے مانے ایفرٹ ضائع نشی دا فرسٹ تھنگ 
to avoid variable that may influence the problem to identify variable that may influence the problem as i told you in the last you got a literature review which basically aim is to identify the variables variables means simply a factor such as the uh, problems are connected the to identify promising procedures and instruments simply means that how one has clear solved the problem what are the different techniques used by the others so identify the procedures instrument tools techniques etc that is basically the purpose of the literature review literature review will basically dig out the instruments and procedures that how one has solved the problem and to limit the problem to limit the problem means the literature review will basically define the boundaries of the problem well as i told you broad problem area check come the agar ke deal that is una rachi that sure no research at the para our tool cover cover that is very much difficult no bia narrow down cover the para we need the literature review already we have discussed these things in the last lecture the already munga last lecture ke that is una cover kari hum di just sirf you review that other comma to the way sir no gura two steps in conducting literature review asal ke zamun che kam topic de adda gade conducting literature review no gura conducting literature review the do tariqo sara ki gayi yo already we have discussed that is search survey of literature so you have find out the literature and second is documenting of the literature documenting of the literature simply mean how to write down a literature the task of the literature likhi sanga and then hope i will be clear no gura survey of literature that could be happen to different sources it can be books research articles thesis conference proceedings you can also obtain data from the libraries internet and online databases that already we have discussed in the last now today we are going to discuss the next that is documenting the literature us chikala for example literature review munga study ukrala us now dab munga yo kitab chip shakal ki likhu sanga dab munga yo note po shakal ki sanga likhu the note po shakal ki likhal chikam that that is known as documenting the literature ab da chide di ki basically three steps thi Say one. Number one, that is method of documenting the list of reviewed articles. That is known as modes of documenting. Modes of documenting means style of writing. Say one. Next is referencing and quoting. Chikala mung literature ke dhanna silikal waru. For example, say your literature review the example thesis likama, and I want to add something extra in my thesis. That is known as referencing and quoting. Data citation hamoi. and the last is organizing and documenting the contents of the reviewed articles simply mean writing the review now let's start from the first that is modes modes mean tarike likalo styles no gora <coughs> first of all method of documenting the list of reviewed articles kura kala hum chimu yo document liku ya khabal research thesis liku at the end of the thesis mung sara yo dua terminology si one is known as references and one is known as bibliography ab references or bibliography is a list of work that is relevant to the main topic arranged in alphabetical order chikala hum mung sa reference for example ya kam zina mung data ra khalu kam website ya kam book na mung data ra khalu and i want to add into my thesis so then i have to add clear uh, this material under the heading of bibliography or references but there is a slight difference between references and bibliography ab now look at here bibliography is that reference list is a subset of the list of articles which have been referenced in the research simply stated gura reference list chikam de aga subset te bibliography the subset of list of articles which have been referenced in the research matlab reference list chikam de sechwa da sirf aga articles di chikam ma da khpal thesis ke istifada kari di while bibliography chikam de is a list which includes all the reference and non reference articles in your research but are relevant to your research matlab bibliography chide de scope sewa de aga har jo material che kam zamun for example or da sara data sara connected de i am interkre de kama interkre na de i have to write down clear bibliography under the heading of the bibliography no bibliography che kam de da aga tool material de ki rashi simple stated che kam zamun article sara relevant de i am agina sa khasi de ki na dia khasi lekin da mukammal list de lekin reference list de reference list che kam de sirf aur sirf aga referred material da which i have listed in to my thesis hope inshallah a bit idea will be clear now go on modes of referencing 
as I told you, Quran, modes of reference, mode, modes of reference, uh, referencing simply means the legal tariqa. Now come to most, uh, most famous tariqa that, that is APA. APA simply mean American Psychological Association. A mean American, B mean Psychological, A mean Association. That's the same for self writing tariqa, legal tariqa. Your Balatarika that is Chicago method, Turabin, uh, Turabin style method, Harvard style method, Manual style method, the tool word key available. The mostly referencing styles, the Sashwa Chakam Kimunga text, uh, sorry, thesis, the references, that is APA style. If you notice, the Mr. Books Nara Hasti Sasosa, Sashwa, that will make your idea more clear. The girl, lesson, lesson CB in bracket 1997. Management on the World Wide Web, Englewood Cliffs, NJ Prentice Hall, book by more than one author. Gura da yo style de likalo. Saishwa, that is known as your APA style. Then alawa norum days that examples thi. Na so dekhi ham katale shi. Or dina alawa sab pages me reference kri di. Takriban sa seventy eight, ninety six or eighty four pur pages di. At the total reference the APA style or kal shubhi di. Na ta swa kena istifada kawale shi. No APA style sir, APA style sirf or sirf referencing likalo yo method de yo tarika da. Nothing else. <coughs> that whole APA style mentioned Shavidi. Referencing non print media, the Parabusanga Likal Ki, Saishwa, Dina Ilawa, different the books number Sanga refer Ki, one author, a journal article with Sangai, the Ben Bacher article with Sangai, Saishwa, no, inshallah, it will make your idea more clear. That's the book Nesti Fada, okay, that will make your idea more clear. Up the next thing is referencing and quoting the sites. Up, what does it mean? Us <coughs> da Shuru ke chida kam mata sula slide na explain kral APA style ke that was mostly referencing in bibliography. The other referencing of bibliography ra so which basically clear uh, comes clear at the end of the thesis. Or suppose within the thesis, within the text, within my th uh, research paper, I want to add some quotation. I want to add some text. Taishwa, that is known as citation. Deta munga wo citation inside referencing ya quotation ya quoting. So you have to the text ke se add kawal wadama. Like suppose, zama your research te employee motivation money. Mr. ABC your research kare de. Z aga your definition quote kawal wadama khpal research ke. So you I want to write down his definition into my, for example, text. That is known as inside referencing or that is known as quoting. Di tamunga cite ham wayu ya citation ham wayu. So cite ya citation the, the references in the body of the paper using author year method of citation that is surname of authors and the year of the publication. Like for example, sangalikal kigi like the taf tawayam of suppose Kaleem 2004 has shown. Ya in the recent studies of employee motivation, da chali kali da free men 2007, ya means per 2007, it has been stated. Ya in other words, in 1997, Kale compared the different models of motivation. Ya as pointed out by Trucker and Snell. Da sirap likalo tarika da che balcha quotation che kala mung pal reference in kiliku, no again likalo tarika che da. No, these are the different methods you can write it down clear into your text. Da aga tariki di che kam kesta so. Referencing a citation kovalechi, um, Further examples de para you can study uh, page number 78 up to 84. That the tool references wagera quotations wagera each and everything explain shavade. Or that your book name picture rakhas that just to make your idea clear. The referencing style de sanga. Like sanga chita so that the gori gora gut tech. 1985 bracket ban published her findings in the book entitled Sex and the Workplace. Gut tech indicated nukura da yo style de so that is known as insight uh, referencing and that is done by the apa style hope inshallah a bit idea will be clear da ham to quotation si so text form ke <coughs> now organizing and documenting the contents of the reviewed article nukura munga chikala for example documentation ko literature review no, by come come season munga ko, but come manner ki munga ko. What are the different step? Number one, first is the introduction. Introduction, what introduction? Importance of the subject. First of all, we have to introduce the subject. Is it that what is the subject? Because it's after all, for example, the my research to come the other motivation money. The no, subject is motivation. Up first, I have to explain motivation. Then I have to explain the importance of the motivation. Then I'll explain state the purpose or scope of the review. That why I did this review. 
is it what is the scope of the topic what is the scope of this review what is the purpose what is the intention of this review how this in, uh, review is different from the other review and what clear uh, the content is uh, making different uh, differentiation of this review take for no first of all introduction key subject introduction and importance of the subject then the purpose and scope of the review it should be explained then define the key concepts or key concepts key concept delta matlab da de the different definitions of motivation what are the different definitions found in the literature let's suppose i have studied three or four literatures no go mr a your literature mr study kro mr b your literature mr study kro then i studied the third one literature mr c sahi hua ab mr a how define a concept motivation sang explain kare de sahi hua mr b ch kam de aga motivation sang explain kare mr c ch kam de a motivation sang explain kare so what are the different definitions regarding to the concept i have to explain all the definition which i have taken from the different literature review which definition is better or much closer your research objective then i have to explain or link that definition which is more relevant to our definition uh, research objectives then the next thing is critical review a more critical review critical review simply mean describe the relationship between the different variables identified in the previous study who simply stated that's a critical review ke avval ch kam de variables were identified ke like as that's the most motivation the no more motivation different variables are connected the motivation p sara hum connected the motivation recognition sara hum connected the motivation ch kam de basic needs sara hum connected the motivation ch kam de for example that's so self actualization sara hum connected the motivation ch kam de that's so intrinsic sara hum connected the it means all these are the different variables so first identify the variables and then find out the relationship i think the correlation study positive correlation dekha negative correlation like for example if i am increasing the pay so pay ch increase ki gi no alta motivation hum sewa ki hi it mean yes there is a relationship the determine ki yo relationship study no critical review ki se kai critical review review ki researcher first of all identify variables and then dig out the relationship sahi hua che previous literature review ki chura variable identify she vidi or a hui relationship is chura identify kare di don't list one study after another but rather classify compare and contrast at the relate to your problem statement har your study is zaruri na che ta so uli kai sahi hua ki deshi ta so dre literature review study kare a hu ki chakam dwadi that is very much near to your problem statement aga ta so problem statement your object to near de no aga do pa ke mention ke dre pa ke ma mention koi organize the review around the different themes different themes dalta matlab da de cha ho the different for example ta so numuna work kai sahi hua ya de ta munga theoretical framework hum wo sahi hua diagrammatic representation of the variable no diagram pa shakal ke ta so jod kai che aya schematic diagramation diagram de ta ho inshallah variable pa concept ke lecture ke bazata so da clear kama che da sang schematic diagram representation ki this is only whatever the variables are mentioned by the researcher sahi hua it just have to explain with the help of a diagram che kam yo variable kam variable sara connect the ho gayi output se the yo diagram maujood ki that is known as different themes and the last is summarize ki state the status of what exists on the topic and identify the gaps which provide the rational for your study sahi hua that is a summary now your short review your example bazata so dar kama i have taken from the book dame book ne example ra qasde de gora yo research the aga basically your literature review study kai and literature review num de organizational effectiveness ab organizational effectiveness ke organization theorist have define organizational effectiveness da gori organizational effectiveness oe define kare da in various ways yo way to organizational effectiveness aga ta way which had described in terms of objectives jage objectives clear de ya for example de gora de ki danna danna che kam da sta so gori da kam che da ga shave de da sta so gori da referencing shave de sahi for name of the person and bracket de ta munga referencing ho yo and now oe has been described in terms of objectives in terms of efficiency in terms of resource acquisitions in terms of employee satisfaction gora different interdependencies sahi for and organizational validity simply stated that way to go to organizational effectiveness munga aga ta way to aga organization effective de chakam khwal objectives tar la sakri di ya employee efficient ya employee pe satisfied di ya dena ilawa resource acquisition de complete di de ta munga simply way organizational effectiveness it means different people have explained organizational effectiveness in different terms har yo chete age zan la yo variable define kare us now and the concept chakam de 
Gora, that was that's what review kai. First of all, you have to introduce organizational effectiveness. Aval was that's organizational effectiveness that was introduced kai in terms of the literature review. Then identify the problem and the purpose. That's what problem gori, chhe problem gap kam zayde. Sahi shwala and the purpose of hadaf is zayde. No consensus on the how to conceptualize and measure OE. Gora, cha ham padhi mane fikar na dakhare yo ham aathar chhe OE bo measure ki gisi sanga. Organizational effectiveness variable ko tool over kardi di. Cha pa ki resource allocation kardi di. चापा के एम्प्लॉय सेटिस्फेक्शन वर्क कर रहे थे चापा के ऑब्जेक्टिव तल्ला सा करी दिदा वर्क कर रहे थे सही हुआ लेकिन यो आधार हम चेदे अगे एक्सप्लेनेशन न द वर्क कर रहे जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफेक्टिव वो मजर की गी संगा सही हुआ हाउ वी हैव टू मजर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफेक्टिवनेस नाउ समराइज द प्रीवियस वर्क एंड आइडेंटिफाई द गैप्स इन द लिटरेचर एंड आई टोल्ड यू वेरिएबल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्ट्रीम्स रिलेटेड टू ओई अनकवर्ड मतलब जे कम ऑब्जेक्टिव्स दी अब उनका संगा द का को मजर को हर यो चीज कम दे अगा अनक्लियर दे नाउ सा सो यो क्वेश्चन जोड़ गई क्वेश्चन बता सो जोड़ जोड़ गई लिटरेचर रिव्यू के क्रिटिकल रिव्यू के या शॉर्ट रिव्यू के व्हाट कुड बी द डायमेंशन यूज्ड फॉर मजरिंग ओई अवल ता सो वे सर आई वांट टू मजर ओई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफेक्टिवनेस लेकिन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफेक्टिवनेस पर कम डायमेंशन माने इज मजर मक डायमेंशन मीन सिंपली एलिमेंट्स डायरेक्शन माने सही हुआ एंड व्हाट आर द अदर डिफरेंट इफेक्ट्स ऑफ ओई या व्हाट फैक्टर्स इफेक्ट द ओई देन आई एलाव फर्दर नूर कम योर इफेक्ट्स सी सही हुआ जो आस्था सो ओबी इफेक्ट कई नो गुरु दल तना तासो सारा दो क्वेश्चन है रे उस दे माने बीइंग एज अ रिसर्चर यू हैव स्टडी द लिटरेचर रिव्यू एंड यू डिग आउट क्लियर द टू डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन वन द डायमेंशन ऑफ ओबी एंड सेकंड द फैक्टर्स इफेक्ट द ओई दल तना तासो रिसर्च स्टार्ट फॉर नाउ फॉर दिस पर्पस यू हैव टू मेक अ थ्योरेटिकल फ्रेमवर्क थ्योरेटिकल फ्रेमवर्क से दे थ्योरेटिकल फ्रेमवर्क इज बेसिकली अ कांसेप्चुअल मॉडल that we are the researcher identify the variables and then connect the variables clear and dig out the relationship between those variables inshallah rarawan class ke i'll explain the concept of theoretical framework in detail hope inshallah a bit idea will be clear thank you so much